Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming to this briefing amidst your very busy schedule. It is time. We now would like to begin the, the briefing related to the management integration of Hitachi Automotive System, Keihin Corporation, Showa Corporation, and Nishin Kogyo. Prior to the briefing, I'd like to share with you the schedule for today. So we have uh, Hitachi Limited, Executive Vice President, Executive Officer. Koshima will provide you with an opening remarks alongside with Honda Moto uh, Managing Officer, Mr. Kaihara. After which, President and CEO, Dr. Bryce Koko, will give you a presentation uh, from the Hitachi Automotive System. We will hear comments from Keihi Showa and Nishin, and also we would have a photo session. So we expect to close the, uh, the meeting around 8, 6 p.m. So first is Mr. Keiji Kojima, Executive Vice President, Executive Officer from Hitachi Limited. Is uh, Mr. Noria Kaihara, Managing Officer for Honda Motor. And from Hitachi Automotive Sisters, President and CEO, Dr. Uh, Bryce Koch. From Keihin Corporation, uh, we have President and CEO, Mr. Keiji Aida. From Showa Corporation, President and Representative Director, Mr. Nobuyuki Sugiyama. And from Nishin Kogyo, Company Limited, President and Representative Director, Mr. Yasushi Kawaguchi. So first, uh, Kojima from Hitachi Limited will give up opening remarks. <coughs> Thank you for the introduction. My name is Kojima, Executive Vice President and Executive Officer for Hitachi Limited. Thank you very much for coming here today, despite such a short notice. Today, our subsidiary, Hitachi Automotive Systems, and a com company that Honda is the top shareholder, Keihi Corporation, Showa Corporation, Nishin Kogyo Company Limited. Uh, integration of these companies will be presented today. First, I'd like to introduce the background for the integration of these four companies. As you might already know, with uh, electrification, automation, development of uh, autonomous driving, automobiles, and the two-wheeled vehicle market is now under a major change taking place. And under this situation, the so-called case sector, global and competitive solution must be developed and provided. This must be strengthened. That is the purpose of the integration of Hitachi Automotive Systems and Keihin, Showa, and Nishin Kogyo. The integrated company will be a global mega supplier with more competitive technology and solutions. And in addition, with a synergy and advantage of scale of our companies, we will be providing that to all customers in the world. At Hitachi, in fiscal year 2021 is the final year of a 2021 midterm business plan, which started in April this year. In this 2021 midterm management plan, to become a global leader in the society, that is the target for Hitachi. And for that purpose, mobility, life, and industry, energy, IT, in these four areas, Lumada or digitalization will be utilized to provide solutions to the sectors to raise the social value, economic value, environmental value for our customers. Yeah, the automotive system business, uh, which I'm in charge of, is under the smart life sector. And in June this year, on the Hitachi IR Day uh, 2019, maybe some of you might have participated there. And that occasion, health, safety, and uh, comfort. These were the keywords to reach a solution to social challenges. And in addition, to shift our business and reform our operation, 
and by doing so to improve profitability. This policy was presented on that occasion. And the automotive system business uh, with powertrain, chassis, and safety system, which is our core business, this should be strengthened. And the uh, world share of our core products uh, will be targeted at the bringing uh, up to the one of the top three. So the integration of these four companies are very important steps to realize this strategy. And under this business, we will focus our core products and reform operation to improve profitability for sure. In addition, the integrated company, the digital uh, technologies that Hitachi owns, uh, including Lumada, we want to catch the trend of digitalization through that. And the automotive control of Honda is a very good know-how. So th this know-how would be integrated into um, automation technology and lead to reduction of CO2 emission products for that purpose, and also autonomous driving and the advanced driver uh, assistance system. Uh, through that, we want to develop a society that can uh, eliminate traffic accidents. That is our purpose. Thank you very much. Next, from Honda Motors Company Limited, uh, uh, Noria Kaihara, Managing Officer, would uh, provide you with the remarks. This is Kaihara from Honda Motor Company Limited. Thank you all for coming to this occasion. So, this new partnership and the agreement to reach this new partnership. I am quite pleased to see this happening. So Keihin and Showa and Nishin Kogyo and Honda Motors. Together, we have been involving in powertrain and shashi areas. And we have been involved in development of advanced auto parts. Going forward within the automobile industry, the evolving of the, uh, the industry, so electrification, uh, chassis control, and also driving control system will continue to evolve and continue to further collaborate with one another. Uh, that is our understanding in terms of the future outlook for technology. So uh, Honda's functional parts have been formed by the three companies. So we can combine the strengths of those three companies and also the motion control technology of Hitachi Automotive System and combine that with the technological expertise of Hitachi and combine finally with the, uh, the know-hows of Honda Motors. Combine these together. We could have an integrated control of the uh, the vehicles and we can leave the innovation of the technology in the auto sector. So through this partnership, we can uh, develop various technology. And uh, through the technology and through the synergy of this merged company, uh, we can further expand the sales and help in enhancing the, uh, the, the uh, customer's value and further uh, contribute to the advancement of the automobile industry as a whole. So Honda, up to now, we have been collaborating with uh, global partners, and we have been involved in technology and also QEC technology advancement. Going forward, based on the partnership that we have cultivated so far, we would like to go beyond the framework to combine the different strengths of the partners to establish a new formation amongst the different entities so we can help in leading the uh, individual mobility in the society and the world. We ask for your continued cooperation. Thank you very much. Next, our content of integration will be presented by Dr. Big Koch of Automotive Mot Hitachi uh, Automotive Systems. Please use a simultaneous translation. Japanese will come through Channel 1. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. First of all, thank you very much also to have taken the time to come today on a very short notice. 
I am thrilled, extremely happy to present you the agreement which we have reached to create a mega supplier and to reinforce four companies, make them stronger, to be sustainable in the future in our markets. What we will go through very quickly on the transaction itself, talking about the background, talking about the strengths of our new merge company, and the long-term management vision where we want to be and we will be in the future and summarizing. Somewhere, no, sorry. The new company, the merger of Showa, Nissin, Keihin and Automotive, uh, Itachi Automotive, will lead to a company which will be in the vicinity of 1.7 trillion yen consolidated revenues, roughly 75,000 employees. And the company will be, for the time being, named Hitachi Automotive System, but that is something which, together with my colleagues, we will fine tune as we go in the process going forward. The next step after the conclusion of the basic agreement, which has happened today, will be a takeover bid on Keihin, Showa and Nissin, organized by Honda, Honda-san. Honda-san, after acquiring the three companies, making them fully owned, will merge them and will inject this company into the new JV to create the new mega supplier, which we are talking about. Why are we going there? Why is that so critical and important for the future of the four companies and our employees? The first one is, as we are all aware, the automotive markets see a major transformation. Transformation in terms of technologies, going more and more for electrification, going for autonomous driving, all that to improve the environment and also to improve the safety of the people. We also see that the needs for software, for complicated solutions, which make again autos and cars safer, uh, will be increasing going forward. These requirements from the market require scale, require stronger technologies, require a, global, a more global footprint and require much more talent to come together. And that is one of, or there are numbers of examples why that will help us, the four companies, to get stronger going there. We will together have a very comprehensive leading technology solutions in powertrain, in vehicle motion control, and in also AD EDAS uh, going forward. We will also see that these transactions bring benefits for all the partners involved. We talk about benefits for the merged company, creating the scale, giving the possibility to have technologies combined, which are leading technologies, giving opportunities for talents to grow more, and also giving opportunities, more importantly, for our customers who will benefit from all these advantages, all our customers. It gives a benefit for our shareholders. On one side, Honda-san, who will then secure a strong development partner with Itachi Limited to enhance uh, automotive business, and it will allow both Honda-san and san to explore potential opportunities of new synergies, new businesses, new solutions, new offerings. The market position of the new company, the new JV, will be in a leading position in the three, four main products or main domain we are acting today. Very strong in two-wheelers, in motorcycle, historically, from Showa, Nissin, and Keihin, that will remain and be even reinforced. It will be a very strong partner and a leading position in powertrain, being ICE or electrical, and it will be a very strong and leading position in chassis products and ADADAS. So bringing the new company in a global leading position on all the domain we are acting today, and again, supporting the sustainability of the company going forward. The objective of the JV will be to integrate the strengths of each company to create a truly independent global mega supplier that provide also global competitive solutions. It will reshape the automotive industry, maximize synergies 
to leverage the skills and the strengths of each of the four companies, and it will therefore further contribute to a sustainable society and improve quality of life of our customers. The background and the strategy going forward will be about <coughs> next slide will be about global leadership position in where we are. And global leadership means scale, means technologies, means value for our customers. It also will create, therefore, a value creation for our customers and our stakeholders in general and generate attractive returns for our stakeholders. That means being leading in the products we're in. That means being leading in the processes we will learn from each other because the four companies bring each of them extremely state of the art of very good processes, technologies again, and we can le learn from each other and bring the best forwards all together. Some examples of the strengths we are bringing in. We talk about electrification we will bring very compact, very efficient, very high quality products together to the market. We talk about advanced chassis. How do we make the chassis more efficient? How do we make the chassis more working together in order to improve the mobility of the car? And that together combined with ADADAS, again, creating leading edge uh, solutions. If we look at the strengths and the management resources of Hitachi and Honda together, uh, we will have opportunities to look and to explore for possibilities of businesses, future businesses, in these very fundamental transforming markets. These opportunities to be explored will potentially generate solutions and more value again for our customers and stakeholders. The long-term management vision which we, we, we do share is about social values where we will be able to further improve safety. It is about environmental values where we will be also to reduce impact of mobility on the environment. And it will be about economic values, creating a mega suppliers, as I said, with scale, technology, talent, quality, footprint. So all together, Hitachi Automotive System, or the new company, the new JV, with Keihin, Showa, Nissin, will basically pursue further growth as a merged company. We will be a new independent global mega supplier, equipped with the strengths of each of the four companies coming together, and also our shareholder uh, in addition. It will leverage leadership position globally, to involve in an automotive and motorcycle business. And it will be extremely well positioned to contribute to make the world a better world and to contribute to society and the environment altogether. With that, I thank you very much for your attention. Next, I would like to have uh, the, some words from the president of Keihin Show with Inishi. Please, first, Mr. Aida from Keihin Corporation. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aida from Keihin Corporation. Thank you very much for attending this meeting despite being uh, this time in the afternoon. A world leading new mega supplier is what is going to be made, and I'm very happy to be able to participate in these endeavors. In 1956, my company was established. Since then, we have been providing environmental technologies for automotive and motorcycle business. This was the strength of our business. And for 1990s, centered on hybrids. Uh, development of our train for uh, electric uh, cars uh, was conducted, and with a new development of mobility, we wanted to contribute to the uh, global environment and the future society. Now, the four companies are going to be integrated, and in addition, Honda and Hitachi's technology and strengths will be integrated. So. Uh, uh, electrification technology required in the area of case automation technology and connected technology development, I believe, will greatly accelerate and we'll be able to provide further value uh, solutions to the customers. 
with this integration, more than ever, we want to grow to a company which can be trusted and sympathized. And I hope that we can provide more uh, happiness to all of you and contribute to the global environment and provide a, a mobility society which everyone can feel safe to uh, use. And by doing so, we want to contribute to the society. Thank you very much. And as a Mr. Sugiyama from Shoah Corporation. This is Sugiyama from Shoah Corporation. Thank you all for coming today. As you may be aware, and as mentioned already, the automotive industry. Uh, connected and automated driving, sharing and electrification. Uh, the so-called CASE, a new realm, is uh, under development in terms of technological innovation. And the operating climate around, in, around our company has been dramatically changing. So given the fact that uh, the environment has become more advanced and more complex, and the automated parts need to be more collaborative than ever, so in this particular era, uh, through this management integration, we can combine the strengths of the four companies about the automated driving, OTA, and also uh, the, the strengths of Hitachi and Honda Group. By combining these together in the motorcycle and the automotive uh, area, we can have more high value added uh, chassis control and also integrated control of the automated driving. So we would like to become the, the leading global supplier. And that is the very reason why we have decided to join this integration. So Hitachi Automotive System, they have ECU motors and also in the sensor area. And also they have drive technology. We believe these are the strengths of Hitachi Automotive System. Now Keihin and Nishin Kogyo, likewise, they have strengths in powertrain and braking system. So they have exceptional technology in those particular fields. And those uh, two companies, they have been working within the Honda Group. So we have been working side by side with them uh, to contribute to the motorcycle and also to the automotive uh, business as well. So going forward, uh, with the four companies merged together, uh, we would like to contribute not just to Honda, but also to the entire society and also to all the OEMs in the world so we can provide more high value added solutions. We are convinced that we are able to do so through this management integration. So we are striving to become a global company trusted by global customers. And through our technological advancement, we would like to provide excellent products and also uh, cope with address the various needs of the customers. That is the corporate motto of our company. So through technological innovation, uh, we would like to contribute to the society and gain the trust of the customers. And also, we'd like to contribute to the advancement of all of our employees. We are convinced that this management integration will be able to do so. So our show our brand has been trusted and supported by uh, many shareholders. And I would like to extend uh, the shareholders and also the trade partners and the employees. I would hope that they would understand our management decision and continue to assist in our challenges into the future. Thank you very much. Next is Mr. Kaguchi from Nishin Kogyo. Thank you for the introduction. I'm Kaguchi from Nishin Kogyo. Thank you very much for coming here despite your very busy schedule. The new global supplier is going to be started. And as Nishin, we are very happy to be able to participate in this integration. Ever since the establishment of the company, various automobiles and motorcycles, 
environment and uh, um, the peace of mind uh, is an important requirement. And if we provide aluminum products that contribute to the environment and to realize a, a society without accidents, we have been also providing brake products. But as the automotive and motorcycle industry is now facing a very challenging uh, environment and advanced uh, and high value added products and systems is being required with speed. We must provide such products with speed to respond to such expectations. Technology and the capacity as a company is needed. We need a stronger corporate foundation. The integration into a new company under such an environment, we believe this will greatly raise the competitiveness of a company in a short period of time. All the participating companies in their each sector, they have their own strengths. And by combining these strengths, we can enjoy synergy. And by doing so, in the future, we will be able to provide the top class solutions with speed to our customers. The new company, with all the stakeholders, we want to provide a stronger sustainability to the society. I'm sure we'll be able to do so. We ask for your future support. Thank you very much. We now would like to move on to the photo, uh, photo session. So we have still photo and movies uh, photo. So we'd like to start with the, uh, the still picture, still photo. So please move towards the front if you wish to take photos. We now like to move on to the Q&A session. We will bring the microphone to you, so please name yourself and affiliation. It could be in either Japanese or English. We have six presenters, so if you can identify to whom the question is addressed, that would be very helpful. So the, the person uh, in the second row from the front. Question. So I have a question to Mr. Kojima from Hitachi. So the, the benefits for Hitachi is rather difficult to see through this integration. So you tend to enhance the automotive system, automotive uh, business. So going forward, what do you have in mind after strengthening the automotive business? So for Hitachi as a whole, what sort of synergy would this integration would bring? with other businesses within Hitachi. So how is the position this business within the group? Answer. Thank you very much for the question. I have mentioned this in, repeatedly in various occasions. So we conduct auto parts business. What we believe this will dramatically change into the future. Already, a systemization is already happening, uh, inclusive of softwares and so forth. But going forward, uh, we will have to go into more of a higher layers, and the business will expand to a higher uh, level. So uh, the OEMs uh, will become more and more uh, service-oriented companies. Uh, therefore, uh, this business it is will become a systemized and also a system service business. So all business is bound to change accordingly. So, of course, we have a smart city and uh, also uh, related to smart life uh, sector. We like to make the cities become more livable uh, given the aging of uh, the society. So given these ideas into consideration, mobility, whether it is commodity or people, this would also become an important pillar within the society. And that is why it is an important part of our business. So uh, social innovation uh, uh, business is what we intend to expand going forward. And that is why mobility, especially automotive system, is very important. How can we easily move the people around? And how can we provide it as a service? Uh, this will become increasingly more important into the future. 
That is why we believe this business will dramatically transform into the future. Taking down into consideration, we believe a social innovation will be indispensable. And that is why we have decided to strengthen this business. Thank you very much. Question. So given that future outlook, so you have made a step forward. So in order to reach that destination, what are the necessary pieces? So Lumada is the focus area for Hitachi right now. So what is the relationship with Lumada? I believe there would be a relationship, but uh, if you can explain in relation to Lumada, that would also be helpful. Answer. So I will continue to answer then. So we have various pieces. Uh, there is still uh, we're short of various pieces going forward. So with systemization and becoming the business become more service oriented, given these into consideration, uh, we would need various technology, uh, especially around software. So of course we have our in-house R&D, but in some cases we may also uh, resort to external sources as well. So the missing piece It's definitely out there. And of course, as a society change, we expect to see more and more missing pieces uh, arising. So that is why we would like to mobilize on the strengths of this new company. And we'd like to leverage on various know-hows, inclusive of Honda, uh, so we can be flexible in dealing with those challenges. Also, another point, as the business becomes more service-oriented, what is indispensable is the digitalization. And of course, data uh, that is also just as important. So automotive, so motorcycle, or whether it's automotive, four-wheelers, regardless, in terms of disseminating various data, it would become an important source of disseminating data. So at Lumada uh, Hitachi, we shed light on data and we like to uh, create new values together with the customers. That is the essence of Lumada. So in the automotive realm, in the automotive area, Indeed, this is where there is a massive amount of data, and we can analyze that uh, through Lumada and uh, share the values with customers. Therefore, it is a good fit with our idea. So uh, together, the strengths of Hitachi and Honda, we would like to explore and develop this new area. Uh, one final question. Question. So mobility, you have railway system as well. So in terms of mobility forms, whether it's automotive or railway, so in terms of mobility as a framework, so this could also include the city building or town building. Uh, would you take an integrated approach as in the mobility? Answer, yes, uh, you could understand. Yes, that is the right way to understand it. So in terms of smart city, is how it relates to how would you bring about people into the city? So a uh, uh, railway a system could be used in the greenfield project. And likewise, within the cities, how can we better mobilize people and also move people about? That is important. And how can we move people about within the building? That is another important aspect. So that is why automotive and the uh, the railway and also elevator escalators, these are all important uh, mobility uh, products to move people about. So uh, we do, we continue to focus in those areas. Question. I have a question to Honda. Earlier, you said a new formation beyond the partnership. So, example of Ford, GM, besides those, uh, would you consider uh, other possibilities to provide the supply as a supplier and the addition? In particular, with GM, there is a, a cooperation with Cruz, but do you plan to further deepen that relationship? Answer, I'm Kaihara from Honda. Thank you for your question. The partnership going forward. Of course, with the current development of technology, uh, control one whole car becomes more important, and the main purpose is there right now. And by uh, deepening that technology, 
I think we can further expand our scope. And at the same time, as a new formation uh, from various perspectives, we want to expand uh, this perspective without selecting one counterparty. Right now, if there is any opportunity, we are open to think about future cooperation partnerships. In particular, well, uh, not I will refrain from talking about specific companies like GM or Ford, but from that perspective, we are not choosing any specific counterparty, but if there is opportunity and there's a future possibility, including the current uh, group uh, companies, uh, we plan to further enhance and be more active in providing more value to the customers. We want to move to that direction. That is all. Thank you. So third from the front. Question. So this is the uh, this is related to reform of the Honda Keiritsu system. So how would this impact the procurement for Honda? That is my first question. And also this integrated entity, in terms of a sales contribution, uh, what would be the contribution from Honda? So that is a second question. And also Honda through this management integration. So 33.4 percent would be the stake for Honda, but inclusive of other mega supplier. So uh, would you be promoting more of a flexible parts procurement uh, from other mega suppliers? So in terms of procurement answer from procurement strategy, so of course, up to now from QCD and also for technology, uh, we have been selecting the, uh, the suppliers up to now. But uh, of course, we need to focus on future value. And uh, we need to have a large value to the customers provided into the future. So for those particular ideas, uh, our collaboration, we like to be as proactive as possible. So that is the reason why we have joined this uh, integration. So it is not as if right now that we would uh, directly make move. So because uh, um, the, the three companies and also with Hitachi, we've always had business in the past. And uh, with this uh, management integration, that would not change dramatically the relationship at this point immediately. However, uh, as we search for future value, uh, we may see some changes. So uh, we hope that there would be more changes into the future. Question. So what would be the, uh, the stake of Honda within the new company? Oh, what will you anticipate in the future? Answer, we have no specific uh, stake envisioned uh, into the future. As far as Honda is concerned, it is more about what is the sort of values that we can provide to the questions. That is the key idea. And by doing so, uh, we can expand to uh, a wider uh, the market. So we have uh, Hitachi and also Honda's vehicle technology and also the three technology of the three companies. We can enhance the competitiveness. So uh, um, if that were the case, uh, automatically Honda's stake would decline into the future. Question. I have two questions. First, Mr. Kojima, in the press release, uh, you are discussing about synergy, and you are not uh, using so much volume in talking about synergy with the integration of so many companies. Reduction of fixed costs uh, might be one synergistic effect. Uh, how much, from where, and how? When is that expected? And in your mediator management plan, 10% uh, operating margin and ROIC, 15% uh, is the target. And with this integration, are you approaching the target or are you getting farther from the target? Answer, thank you for your question. Of course, cost synergy 
of course, is very important for us. In more specific terms, what we are going to do, we have to make plans for that. But in this industry, as you know, well, for example, software cost. If you try to collect your software cost, a lot of volume is necessary. So we have to uh, raise the volume to be able to make profit. And in that sense, this integration, in terms of our uh, operating profit margin, we're aiming at two digits uh, by 2021. And it's extremely important uh, to achieve this target. So this integration uh, to achieve a uh, target under military management plan, this integration plays an important part. So we want to be, uh, be able to enjoy the cost energy. Uh, you are saying that we are not writing so much about it. But of course, among ourselves, uh, we are considering various themes to ap approach that effect. Uh, question. So uh, you are not going to disclose the amount of cost synergy? Answer. Uh, at the moment, no, we are not prepared to say that. A question. My next question is that for Hitachi, the position of automotive business, recently you changed the segment. It's not no longer independent uh, segment as automotive, but automotive is now a segment of a life segment. So. This gives an impression that it is uh, a, a more of a non-core business, but with this plan to expand the business in the future, ultimately, as an independent core business within the Hitachi Group, will automotive uh, come back as a core business? Or ultimately, do you plan to uh, make an IPO or have an exit plan? Answer. Well, exit plan, no, we are not thinking at all of an exit plan. You say a sub-segment. You mentioned that it is now a segment but that is not our interpretation. For us, uh, what is important is that we have to strengthen the products. And at the same time, in the cyber physical world, by using the solution, how can we uh, develop a new economy like a data economy? Both is needed. That is our understanding. So the physical side, uh, products are a very important pillar, and we will continue to strengthen this area. And at the same time, it is now a sector like life or mobility. This is structured in this way because we want to make solutions. So I think we are aiming at achieving the two wheels of a car. And that is how this should be interpreted. Thank you very much. Question. First question is related to Hitachi side. So you've mentioned about CPS, a cyber physical system. So we have the real data, high quality data. Uh, you'd like to acquire those a massive amount. So as we speak, what is the kind of data that you are able to acquire, and what is the kind of service are you going to uh, you can provide? For instance, vehicle maintenance and so forth. So, what is possible right now, given the current level? Uh, also, the second point: the the electrical uh, electric companies. Um, you have infrastructure, and now you're trying to strengthen the automotive uh, business. But there is a concern that your resource might be uh, more di uh, dispersed. So uh, uh, what is your take on those questions, concerns? Question. So Kojima would like to answer that. So in order to utilize the data is OTA, this concept of OTA, over the air concept. So within the vehicle, uh, we are seeing more and more software, and it becomes more complicated. So the question is, how can we manage those as a system, inclusive of the software update? 
So that is an important thing uh, for the automotive. So uh, uh, the vehicles, of course, uh, they are connected with uh, cloud and various data centers. So I believe uh, that is the first step. So uh, the question is we need to make sure that we can solidify this business. And around this OTA, we would have various services combined. First, it may be maintenance, but of course, if we could eventually evolve to safety-related uh, services, or it could be safety uh, related to the drivers or related to the health of the, the drivers. So the service level could be more enhanced and become more enriched. So uh, uh, in terms of data, that would be the entry point for us. Also, in terms of uh, resource uh, disbursement, uh, the concern that you have raised. So conglomerate, uh, conglomerate, conglomerate uh, discount uh, has been uh, raised vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Hitachi as a concern. But given the data analysis and AI in this world, so uh, we would have the, the railway system, we have the, the trains, and we have the elevators, and also we have the automotives. So I think there are a lot of commonalities among those business. So in terms of technology, it is not as if the resources are dispersed amongst different areas. Rather, it is more that the expertise and know-hows are converged into one, and it could be leveraged in different fields. And that is why Lumata is a concept we have in Hitachi. Lumata is an initiative that we're promoting right now. So Lumata, in essence, is indeed the fields that were in initially considered as different uh, could be combined together, and uh, we can leverage on data. And by accumulating on different use cases, we can apply those in different areas. That is the basic idea for Lumada. So in this uh, data as the, the capitalist uh, system, so uh, uh, we would have more resource and we have more uh, know-hows combined and accumulated together. That is the direction we'd like to strive. Question. I have a question to Honda then. So normally we have the manufacturer and we have the OEM and we have the supplier. And the OEMs and suppliers, they would have QECD and you would have the global production system established. So I think that has been the case in the past. So from uh, one perspective, see, you would have a, a higher stake from Hitachi into the suppliers. So QCD or for global uh, procurement. The question is, how can you uh, maintain the global competitiveness? Also, another point in the case and also mass, uh, the axis of competition uh, may have been changing. So have you, has your mindset uh, or has your value system changed from before? Answer, as uh, Mr. Kojima mentioned, so within the industry, uh, the climate environment is dramatically changing. As you rightly mentioned, we have the automated driving and we have the electrification. So all these technological innovation is underway. And of course, in terms of case, uh, we may need to expand it further to the level of connectivity. And that is a state we are in right now. So as mentioned already, so if you have one vehicle, you have the vehicle. So vis-a-vis -vis the changes they're facing. Uh, whether the vehicle can cope with those changes, or uh, the vehicle needs to be providing new values to the society. That is the state we expect to uh, bring. And so by bringing uh, the companies together, we believe we can realize this picture. And by realizing this, as you mentioned, the, uh, the future case and future connectivity uh, is the area we can further push the, the boundary. Uh, that is a possibility. So this is the formation we are going to adopt. So in the future, for instance, we may have integration of the software. So if that's the case, we may consider collaboration partnership with other business partners as well. Question in terms of uh, global procurement and also QCD. Uh, is there no change in terms of the concept or are you becoming more open vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, the k rates relationship? So in terms of QCD, so uh, regardless of k rates or k rates we see it as an, a, a same identical concept. So QCD in terms of the technological expertise, so long as we have the competitive edge, uh, we believe we can collaborate with others. There's definitely a possibility.
Thank you very much. どうかあの、えー、と帝国がそろそろ迫ってまいりましたので、以降のご質問はお一,あのお一人様一問ということで、ご協力のお願いしたいと思います。ご質問いかがでしょうか。えーとですね、真ん中のですね、えー、と真ん中の列の真ん中の、えー、と眼鏡をかけている男性の方、お願いします。あの日本本本本日だ The four companies that are going to be integrated, for example, PCU of Hitachi and Shock Absorber, or Showa and Hitachi Shock Absorber, there are some parts that overlap. So, how are you going to、um, restructure that? For the question, sorry to answer it in English. There are many products which are very comparable and very close to each other. Not only shock absorbers, but also brakes, also engines,、uh, and others. The beauty of bringing the four companies together is everyone b r i n g a better technology on one product, or we can then increase our efficiency. By focusing our people from one company more on one product and the other one on the other product. So, the bring this company together will, able, will, make us,、uh, will put us in a position where we will increase efficiency on how we develop products. It will put us in a position where we can better leverage our whole footprint globally from factories to be closer to our customers globally. It will also give us synergies in terms of、uh, reach to customers. So, our portfolio of global customers will increase significantly, benefiting from each other. And finally, it will also help us to increase the reach of our talents. We have a lot of talents in the four companies, and bringing us together, we can develop them better and we can leverage them also better. So, it is The combination will help us to grow more, will help us to achieve a better reach to our customers globally, and therefore to improve also our efficiency and to focus our resources where we need them the most, having sufficient resources to develop the new solutions, which Kojima san, Kaya san was mentioning. We will have then sufficient resources to develop these new solutions, these new value propositions to our customers to differentiate going forward. よろしいですか。じゃあ,あの真ん中の列のですね、えっと、目の青いシャツの方をお願いいたします。あ、あのめ。Question. I have one question. So in terms of integration ratio. So, in terms of the stake ratio, Hitachi 66%, Honda 34% in terms of the stake. But in terms of the integration revenue and also the profit level,、uh, perhaps it could be 50 50. Or maybe it could be lower in terms of Hitachi if you were to look at those numbers. So, given those into consideration, but stake is actually 6 to 4. So,、uh, what, the, what is the background for deciding the stake ratio? Answer. So, this is Kojima from Hitachi. So, two thirds as opposed to one third. So, given this structure, we can have more of a horizontal, let's just say, we could have a more a horizontal volume creation. Because if you have higher proportion of Honda, Uh, there are some customers who would not be happy to see that ratio. So we need to strike the right balance. And that is, so we actually receive some feedback from the customers to reach our decision. Also, given the valuation of the, the two companies, from that perspective, basically, the Hitachi non cash trans, this is a non cash transaction from Hitachi. Therefore, from this integrated company, 
So if there is a cash, uh, we may extract those cash. And uh, the Honda uh, would strike the right balance. So, uh, so we would actually have the values aligned with the, the voting shares. That is the basic concept. Answer. I would also like to uh, supplement on that. So as uh, Mr. Kojima mentioned, basically, we would like to expand our business and expand our sales. So that is the, the premise for reaching this stake. But of course, uh, we would like to sustainably support the automotive industry in Japan as part of the Monozukuri society. So uh, the sales expansion is also part of the uh, the concept here. So Hitachi would born a lot of uh, those tasks. And uh, we would like to leverage on the wide range of customer network of Hitachi. So that was another uh, reason. Uh, of course, in terms of technology, Honda will make sure that we deliver. So watch us. Question. I have a question to Mr. Kojima. In the automotive mountain sensor, I think you have Hitachi metals. And what will be impact to their business? Answer. I don't think there is any basic impact. Of course, Hitachi metals have many automotive related customers. But the integrated company, I don't think this will impact the business of Hitachi Metals. We don't assume any impact. Question, how about other group companies? Answer, yes, it is the same. Question. So I may have missed the answer, but uh, in the presentation, there are a number of undecided uh, under uh, to be developed uh, items. So for instance, when uh, the company would be established or when what would be the corporate name. So it seems as if Hitachi brand name will be retained within the, uh, uh, the corporate name. So if you can uh, share with us what would be the timing in which those undecided factors will be clarified. Answer. So for the time being, we foresee the name of Hitachi Automotive Systems. But as I mentioned briefly in the presentation, that is something which we will validate over the coming few months, what will be the end name of the, of the JV. It is very likely that Hitachi will be part of that name. The timing before signing now and closing when the JV will be established is roughly one year. We will have to do a, a TOB, transfer of business. We will to have to do uh, some antitrust clearance in, in a number of countries. And we foresee that will take roughly one year until closing. So within 12 months or so, uh, that would be the time in which the new company would be established and launched? えそれでも帝国を過ぎておりました。最後の一方ご質問をお受けしたいと思います。では、そちらのえっと、お隣の方、お願いします。UBS。Question. In the presentation material page 7, you are discussing about the synergy, powertrain, chassis, EDA system. And you're aiming at the market share number one. And looking at the share in the sales of integrated company, and from the left to the right, I think you're starting from the strong sectors. In terms of uh, priority, it is, is an area with a strong competition. So which are the areas that you want to further strengthen? How much weight are you placing? Yes, we have. We believe that uh, first of all, electrification we will be number one, with a combination of Kain and Hitachi Automotive, uh, very strong positioning there because of the position we have today in the market, and because of the technologies and the combination of the two technologies we can bring together. On advanced chassis, 
we have an extremely strong combination between Nishin, Showa, Itachi automotive in terms of brakes, in terms of suspension, in terms of steering, but also propulsion shaft, where we will also be among one or two globally. Uh, on ADADAS, we will focus very strongly on some very specific sensors, but also on ECU and how to optimize the information from these sensors to have the optimization of the vehicle motion control. So we will not do all the sensors. We will focus on the one we are strong today. And we will focus only on the activation of the, of the, the car, not the old stack of autonomous driving. Uh, question. Could I see what is the uh, general um, sales proportion of these sectors after integration? Could I have an image of that? We will bring that once during the coming months when we can consolidate all these figures and then disclose it to the market more in detail. Thank you. Uh, with that, we would like to close today's uh, briefing on the management integration. Thank you very much.